Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be fourth book of Moses called Numbers, chapter 15. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, when ye be come into the land of your habitations, which I give unto you, and will make an offering by fire unto the Lord, a burnt offering, or a sacrifice in performing a vow, or in a free will offering, or in your solemn feasts, to make a sweet savour unto the Lord of the herd or of the flock. Then shall he that offereth his offering unto the Lord bring a meat offering of a tenth deal of flour mingled with the fourth part of an hin of oil, and the fourth part of an hin of wine for a drink offering, shalt thou prepare with the burnt offering or sacrifice for one lamb. Or for a ram thou shalt prepare for a meat offering, two tenth deals of flour mingled with the third part of an hin of oil. And for a drink offering thou shalt offer the third part of an hin of wine, for a sweet savour unto the Lord. And when thou preparest a bullock for a burnt offering, or for a sacrifice in performing a vow, or peace offerings unto the Lord, then shall he bring with a bullock a meat offering of three tenth deals of flour, mingled with an half mingled with half an hin of oil, and thou shalt bring for a drink offering half an hin of wine, for an offering made by fire of a sweet savour unto the Lord. Thus shall it be done for one bullock, or for one ram, or for a lamb, or for a kid, according to the number that ye shall prepare. So shall ye do to every one according to their number. All that are born of the country shall do these things after this manner, in offering an offering made by fire, of a sweet savour unto the Lord. And if a stranger sojourn with you, or whosoever be among you in your generations, and will offer an offering made by fire of a sweet savour unto the Lord, as ye do, so shall he do. One ordinance shall be both for you of the congregation, and also for the stranger that sojourneth with you, an ordinance forever in your generations as ye are, so shall the stranger be before the Lord. One law and one manner shall be for you, and for the stranger that sojourneth with you. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land whither I bring you, then it shall be, that when ye eat of the bread of the land, Ye shall offer up an heave offering unto the Lord. Ye shall offer up a cake of the first of your dough for an heave offering. As ye do the heave offering of the threshing floor, so shall ye heave it. Of the first of your dough ye shall give unto the Lord an heave offering in your generations. And if ye have erred and not observed all these commandments which the Lord hath spoken unto Moses, even all that the Lord hath commanded you by the hand of Moses, from the day that the Lord commanded Moses, and henceforward among your generations, then shall it shall be, if aught be committed by ignorance without the knowledge of the congregation, that all the congregation shall offer one young bullock for a burnt offering, for a sweet savour unto the Lord, with his meat offering and his drink offering, according to the manner, and one kid of the goats for a sin offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for all the congregation of the children of Israel, and it shall be forgiven them, for it is ignorance, and they shall bring their offering, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord, and their sin offering before the Lord for their ignorance. And it shall be forgiven all the congregation of Israel, and the stranger that sojourneth among them, seeing all the people were in ignorance. And if any soul sin through ignorance, then he shall bring a she-goat of the first year for a sin offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for the soul that sinneth ignorantly, when he sinneth by ignorance before the Lord, to make an atonement for him, and it shall be forgiven him. Ye shall have one law for him that sinneth through ignorance, both for him that is born among the children of Israel, and for the stranger that sojourneth among them. But the soul that doeth aught presumptuously, whether he be born in the land, or a stranger, the same reproacheth the Lord, and that soul shall be cut off from among his people. 
because he hath despised the word of the Lord, and hath broken his commandment, that soul shall be utterly cut off, his iniquity shall be upon him. And while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath day. And they that found him gathering sticks brought him unto Moses and Aaron, and all the congregation. And they put him in ward, because it was not declared what should be done to him. And the Lord said unto Moses, The man shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. And all the congregation brought him without the camp, and stoned him with stones, and he died. As the Lord commanded Moses, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them they that make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and they that put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it, and remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them, and that ye seek not after your own heart, and your own eyes, after that which ye used to go a-whoring. That ye may remember, and do all my commandments, and be holy unto your God. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt, to be your God. I am the Lord your God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In this chapter we learn about when the children of Israel come into the land of their habitations, which the Lord gave to them, what kind of offerings they should make. In particular, the passage that stands out to me most is... The Lord discusses, A man who does not keep his commandments shall be utterly cut off. Now, one of the things that is very interesting about the history of this world is the freedom that Lord Jesus Christ provided when he sacrificed, when he entered into his passion and gave his own life on the cross at Calgary. And now here's what I mean. This passage here says, Okay, and while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath day. So he has broken the commandment that thou shalt not work on the Sabbath. You should not work on the Sabbath. And they found him gathering sticks, brought him unto Moses and Aaron, unto all the congregation. And they declared, and they put him in ward, because it was not declared what should be done. And this is inexplicable. And the Lord said unto Moses, The man shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. And all the congregation stoned him with stones, and he died, as the Lord commanded Moses. Now, so I want, one thing I want to understand here is, So one, one, one I want to point out here is Exodus 31.14. So we'll take a look here. Exodus 31.14. And the Lord spake unto Moses. So this is that. And then the passage reads, Ye shall keep the Sabbath therefore, for it is holy unto you. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. So the Lord says that the punishment for working on the Sabbath is death. And then here comes Lord Jesus Christ who says, In Matthew 12, 8, unmistakably, Lord Jesus speaks his truth, which is that he says in Matthew chapter 8, In Matthew chapter 8, For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. And so what, what ends up happening is there's a clear distinction here between two forms of teaching. And Jesus says that, you know, the again, the punishment for the adulterer, the woman who was caught in adultery, all the men want to stone her to death. Lord Jesus says, leave her 
and and she tells her to go thou and sin no more and so these teachings as what ends up happening over time is um, they start to show the world what the kingdom uh, you know of, of what that f that freedom born from Lord uh, born out of Lord Jesus's sacrifice looks like and I would I would end by saying that my coming here as the Holy Ghost it what it shows is that there clearly are people who are different than the multitude in the seven levels of male understanding I am pointing out that there clearly are people different than level six and seven and by that I am saying that if you look at the story of Jacob and Esau, Esau is born on hairy garment, grabbing on the foot of, uh, excuse me, Jacob grabbing on his foot as a younger brother, the usurper, and Jacob is born smooth. And Adam, of course, born smooth with long life, the prophets like John the Baptist being filled by Lord Naren White from his mother's womb. He's being indwelt by the Spirit. These men, you know, the prophet Moses, the, who, who you see, the, the Holy Spirit is upon Moses. Lord Naren White is upon him. He's indwelling Moses. And, and that is exactly what I'm talking about. You know, uh, for example, uh, another prophet that comes to mind is, is Gideon, the son of Joash. And so this is, this is what I mean by there are clearly men that are different than the, the, the multitude in, in terms of you know, the seven levels of male understanding. Men who are different than level six and seven. And now what I would say is that when Jesus Christ, some people describe Jesus Christ's birth as the birth of the second Adam. I, I, I obviously do not agree with that in my seven levels of male understanding. But the idea that they're conveying is that Jesus Christ's birth signifies that that, that potential of that light. I, I, I'm not sure how to describe it. That there are clearly different levels in this seven levels of male understanding that Jesus looks at the world very differently than the rest of the people there. He tells Peter, those who live by the sword die by it. You know, he, he preaches, turn the other cheek. He says, he preaches to love your enemy as well, or what reward have ye? Now, obviously, I differ in some ways than Jesus, but as a Naranjelical, I also have only one believer of my faith, me, at this moment, as of seven 7 2022 and the reason is because one bad bushel can ruin the crop so i'm looking at the history of the world and i'm saying as i want to start my faith the number one thing we naranjelicals must care for is our character our soul our adherence to god's will for those that do not adhere to god's will the father son and holy spirit are cut off from this earth and it is an absolute honor uh, according to the bible i should say it is an absolute honor those who, who do not adhere to them are, are you know, from, to the Father, for example, are cut off, is what it says in the Bible. And it is an absolute honor now to have this opportunity to start my own faith, learning from the lessons of the past. And that is exactly what I intend to do one day at a time. And so with that, I want to go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today. And now I will transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video. Since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I worked my software developer job. I worked at my core and I created seven Squadron Tower Defense videos. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Light to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.